I'm Father Gray, and this is a St. Mary's Minute. This Thursday, today, is a feast, an important one, the Feast of the Transfiguration. On this feast day, we hear the Gospel of the Transfiguration, which goes like this. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with them. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them, then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. This event occurs very much to strengthen these witnesses of the Transfiguration and really all the followers of Jesus before that which is the Passion. So they see him in his divinity so that they can accept him more fully in the humanity they're about to witness at its depths. Likewise, for all of us, this is a wonderful reminder that our life in Christ, in the body of Christ, that is to say the church, is something which has in its fullness a truthful living, a living that does not end, a glorified nature that is already here now but hidden entirely. Likewise, through our living of these things, the liturgy, in our prayer, we are beginning now to participate in that, to incorporate ourselves into that. Throughout our lives, we have this thing which is the church in front of us, and we're allowed to, we're invited to participate in these mysteries. Not mysteries about our own living and the things that happen in ourselves, but all of us together, a life that really, truly lasts. On this, on this Thursday, on this wonderful feast day, this transfiguration, may you also share in this wonderful thing of graces. May you also have a taste of this glory that is to come.